Hey guys, Tyler here at Motion Raceworks, back here with another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, we're going to tell you about torque converter spacing. We have tons of guys that ask questions about this, and it can be kind of confusing, so we're going to try and clear it up for you. First, we'll show you a little flashback from when we were building the Bald Eagle. Here we go. We're good now. We're just using some washers to shim the uh, torque converter to flex plate spacing correctly. So if you push the torque converter all the way into the transmission, you want to pull it out, I think it's it's 1 8 to 3 16 of an inch. So you need to at least pull it out that far. So if you, have, if you bolt it up with a torque converter pushed all the way into the trans, if the torque converter balloons at all, it will either break your pump because it'll push into the trans or it'll take the thrust bearing out on your crankshaft because it'll, it'll try and push the crank out of the front of the motor and it'll eat your thrust bearings. You want to make sure you have that spacing correct. So we pushed it all the way back in, pulled it out an eighth of an inch, and then put our spacers in. So. All right, so now that we've seen that, let's do a little recap and summary on the whiteboard so we can get into a little more detail. In the video there, you saw the area that we were working with, which is actually between the torque converter and the flex plate. I've kind of blown that up here for you. So. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to start by pushing the converter all the way back into the transmission. And then you need to pull the converter out 1 8 to 3 16 is like the ideal amount to pull it out. If you have to pull it out more than 3 16 to touch the converter pad to the flex plate mounting pad, that's not good either because you'll start to disengage the converter from the transmission. So you need to at least pull out 1 8 and if you pull out over 3 16 you need to fill in the extra space with some washers or spacers. So if you're going to use like standard washers, at least check the thickness of them to make sure they're all equal. Otherwise, uh, a lot of converter companies will send different thickness of spacers with them and then those are all ground to about the same thickness. So just remember, you wanna pull out at least 1 8 but no more than 3 16 That's our rule of thumb for converter spacing. With all that said, you should have the proper knowledge now to space your torque converter to flex plate properly. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Come back next week for another Tech Tip Tuesday, and don't forget to like and subscribe.